Hey, welcome back to Way of the Wrench, and on today's very special episode, I'm going to show you how to back up all your information by doing some cloning. And I'm going to show you some different methods on how to do that, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Hey, do you want to play some pinball? Heck yeah! Sweet. Let's get this show on the road. Now there's two reasons why I'm wanting to make this video for you guys today. First reason is I am way behind in my updates. Almost every single program in here needs to be updated, including the VPX to the 10.8, uh, the pinup popper with the new auto updater. I want to try that. That looks pretty cool. And I still don't even have 64 bit. And uh, before I do all of those upgrades, I want to make sure that I have my information backed up so that if I literally brick this cabinet, I can just revert back to a good working system. Now, the other reason why I'm doing this is right now I have a 500 gig SSD drive in here, which is more than enough for right now. However, I'm gonna be putting music and pup packs and a uh, jukebox and maybe even some arcade games in here eventually, and it is not going to be enough at the end. So I am gonna plan on upgrading to a one terabyte drive today. And for those of you out there uh, that want to change from an HDD clunky drive to an SSD drive. This information is going to be golden for you for that as well. So let's get started. All right, one of the first and pretty dead simple way of cloning a hard drive to another one is using one of these dual bay docking stations. Now this is from Sabrent. I'll put a link down in the video description down below if you want to check it out. So let's take a look at this and see what it can do for us. If we open this up to see what's inside, first up is the docking station itself. Now you can see there are some cutouts here so you can fit your SSD drive in there and it also hinges down out of the way in case you've got the older HDD drives and uh, you can do one or the other right so you could transfer HDD drives to SSD drives now the slots are marked A and B so do not get these confused A is what you're wanting to copy and B is the one that is going to get copied too. So if you put your blank empty new SSD drive in here and you take your one you wanted to back up over here, you're gonna wipe out that information. So make sure you don't get that crossed up. And uh, if you can't keep that track, you might wanna mark it with a Sharpie or uh, some masking tape so you don't get that screwed up. Now, what else is in here? You got a cable for a USB and what that would allow you to do is allow you to hook this up to your computer and use this kind of like a little docking station so if you had a random drive that somebody brought over you could plug it in and access information off of it. And then we've got our power adapter to plug it in. So let's try out this method. First things first, make sure it's shut off and we're going to plug in the AC adapter plug in. Okay, then we're going to plug this in. Okay, I'm going to take the SSD drive out of the virtual pinball cabinet and I'm going to mark it for good measure so that I have today's date on it and then I know that this is the one I want to copy and we are going to install this into dock A. Then I'm going to take my brand new one terabyte SSD drive and label it for good measure so that I don't get these mixed up and then this one is going to go into slot B. Okay, then we're going to turn it on on the back and we should be getting a green power light. And then each of these blue lights represents that that is registering that there's a hard drive in there. And then to get this to clone, all we got to do is hold this button till you see the blue light and then let go. And then you're supposed to press it again real quick and that initiates the process. Now, there's little symbols here to show you that essentially that right now it's working on the first 25% then it's 50, then it's 75, and then it is 100% and it is done. Now this is gonna take some time to transfer over and it all really depends on what you're putting in here and how much data you're trying to transfer over. So if you're using SSD drives and you got like a terabyte of information, expect a while and I'll let you know how long this is gonna take. Um, if you've got old HDD drives that you're trying to transfer over, that's even slower. So just keep in mind this is gonna take some time. And I'm not gonna make you guys watch this all the way to the end. So I'm gonna skip until it's all the way done. And then when the 100% LED goes from a blinking blue light to a solid blue light, you know you're all done and you can shut it off on the back and remove your SSD drives. Okay, and just to test this out and to show you that this worked properly, I'm gonna take my cloned SSD drive that we just made and I'm gonna reinstall it into the pinball cabinet. And if everything worked out properly, when I turn this on, it should just load up like normal and go right into pinup popper like usual. 
And as you can see, that cloned SSD drive is working perfectly. I played a couple games, made sure everything worked, made sure the DOF worked, and it's great. Now, there is one more thing I have to show you, though. Because we cloned a 500 gig SSD drive to a one terabyte SSD drive, it's a literal clone, so it thinks the new one terabyte drive is only 500 gigabytes. So let me show you how to fix that. All right, so if I open up our file explorer here and we go to this PC, you can see that we've made a perfect clone of a 500 gig drive. However, this is a terabyte drive, so there's something that we have to do here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the window symbol, lower left-hand corner, right-click on it, and you're gonna go up to disk management. Now, you can see here's our 500 gig drive, and there is our 500 gigs that is unallocated. Now, usually you just have to go left-click here, right-click on it, and you go down to extend volume, left click on it, however, in this case, this is grayed out. It's not letting me actually extend the volume. And the reason why is because there is a recovery partition in between these two. So it's kind of a goofy way of not letting us do this. So what we have to do is delete the recovery partition and then it'll allow us to extend this. Now, I'm not too worried about rec uh, deleting this recovery partition because I'm literally making a clone. So if I still needed that, I could throw in the other drive. Uh, if you were worried, you could also back this up on a USB, but I won't be showing that for this video. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna delete this. So if you try to delete it by just right clicking on it, there is no option to delete it. And if we go up to action, there isn't either. So there's no way here to be able to do this. So let me show you what we're gonna do. First thing we need to do is we need to go down to here and we're gonna start typing in command prompt. Okay, and then it's giving you a bunch of suggestions. We're actually wanting this app, so left click on that. And for those of you that used to do DOS, this is kind of going back a little bit to be able to do it this way. So first thing you're going to do is type in disk part and type in everything exactly how I do it. So D-I-S-K-P-R-T, press enter. You're gonna say yes. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna list your disks. So type in L-I-S-T, space D-I-S-K, press enter. We want to select the disk that we have, which is in here, and it's this is our 500 gig free one and our terabyte, so it's disk zero. So we wanna go select disk zero, press enter. Okay, now we need to list the partitions, so L-I-S-T. List partition, then press enter. Okay, now you can see all of our partitions. Now the one we we're wanting to delete, it's named recovery. So that is partition four. So to delete that, we have to type select space partition four, press enter. And now we're gonna type delete partition override, then press enter. Okay, so we've successfully deleted that partition. So we can close this out, close this out. And if we reload this, so right click down at the bottom on the window symbol, disk management. And now if you'll notice there's our 500 gig drive and our unallocated, but now that they're next to each other, we can extend it. So we're gonna go to here, right click on it. And now you'll see that extend volume is not great anymore. So left click on that, click next. And then it's allowing you to change and add whatever you want. So it's showing the amount that we're gonna add here. So we don't really have to change anything. So click next, click finish, and boom. You can see we're all the way up to our terabyte drive now. And we can close this. And if we just go back and then go forward again, you'll now see that we're up to our terabyte drive and lots of space for our tables and everything we're gonna add onto this. Sweet. All right, so now I'm gonna take this clone drive out that we tested to make sure this works, and I'm gonna put the original one back in so I can show you another method. Hey, are we gonna be playing some pinball or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm busy filming here. I'll be done in a bit. Clones, am I right? Okay, so now that we've done it that way, I wanna show you one other way in case those of you that don't wanna buy that docking station and you're looking for a free software version of cloning hard drives. Uh, I'm gonna show you that. So there are a bunch of options out there. You've got like Macrium Reflect, Clonezilla, LaySoft, uh, EaseUS, HD Cloner, and what I'll do is I'll put a link to all of those down below so you can pick whatever you want. Uh, but as of today's date, some of these are paid only options, 
Some of them are 30-day trials and then you have to pay. Uh, and I'm not sure if you can delete the software and reinstall it every time you want to use it, but that's kind of a pain. And then there's some free options. So I'm going to go with a free option today uh, and show you how to use that. So let me show you. Right, so like I said, we're going to go with the free option today, which is LaySoft. And you're going to go up for the LaySoft.com and then go ahead and download the free version. So we're looking at the 4.7 Home Edition free and it says it can do disk image and cloning. So we're going to try that. So go ahead and download it. I'll see you when I'm done this. Okay, once you got it downloaded, go ahead and set it up. Click yes, select the language you need. Go ahead and accept after you read all the stuff in there that you're going to agree to. Watch out for human caterpillar stuff. Okay, tell it where you want it picked. Press next, install. Okay, we're going to click finish and it should launch it for us. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to click update just in case things are not fresh where it should be. Okay, no updates needed. All right, we're going to go down to disk image and clone. And we want to do a clone disk. Okay, now it's saying select your source disk. Okay, we've got disk one selected. So we're going to go next. Okay, so we're going to select disk two. Click next. And this has given us a nice option so that when we're all done this, we don't have to go in and delete that recovery partition and extend to be able to extend it. So we're just going to go here and go fit partitions to the entire disk then click next. Okay, so it's just asking you to confirm some stuff. So the source is our 500 gig drive and our destination is the one terabyte drive. Okay, then click start. Okay, and it's just giving you a final warning to make sure that you are going to delete everything on the target disk. So we're okay with that. And then once again, depending on the size of the drive and what you got going on, it's going to take a certain amount of time. So we're going to jump ahead to the end and I'll show you the final product. Okay, recording is all done and it's about the same as the other docking bay, about 34 minutes. And this little popped up when it was all done. So it's saying it's successful, but it wants us to shut down the computer. And that's probably more because they don't want you yanking hard drives off while it's still connected. So um, you can shut it off and then take that clone drive out and it also warns that if you decide to leave it connected next time you boot up you may have some issues because it's the same drive as what you just um, copied from the source so depending on your BIOS settings it might try to load from one or the other and have some issues so uh, basically say yes to the shutdown and then go ahead and yank out your copied one so for me off camera I'm going to switch out the clone drive and just to make sure it works and show you all that I just booted up and you can see we've got our full terabyte drive and we didn't have to do a copy and get rid of partitions and all that other stuff. And just to confirm that, if we go to our disk management, there it is there and we still have our recovery partition because we didn't have to get rid of it. Okay, and just as a very simple kind of option for people that are just maybe making a minor change to one folder and you want to be able to make sure that's backed up, you can also just go on File Explorer, go to this PC, C drive and if you control left click on V pinball and direct output you can right click copy that and then you can paste it wherever you'd like paste it to your desktop paste it to an external USB and that way worst case if anything happens you still have all the files and exactly how they need to be you just have to right click and replace over the folders that you have copied here. There's a wrap in another video from Way of the Wrench, this time on how to clone your hard drives so you can back up your information and do all your updates without messing anything up. Speaking of updates, that's probably the next couple of videos for this so I can get this all set up with 64-bit and the new VPX and pin a popper and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for videos for that. And if you haven't already, why don't you join us on Instagram so that way you can see all the behind the scenes stuff going on in the shop. And if you have any ideas for new content, why don't you throw it my way, put a comment down below and I'll try to make those videos nice and easy for you. Oh no. Uh, uh, you want to play some pinball? Heck yeah, that sounds awesome. Cool. Did I hear someone say pinball? Oh, well, I guess I can now run my own tournaments. Take it easy.